it may sound awful of me, but I asked him after he got sick, well, what about the Trans Am? And he said, I think I already wrote it down. And so I just left it because you don't want to talk with your dad about if he passes. He did, unexpectedly. When he passed, he hadn't uh, straightened out his affairs, so there was nothing um, set in stone about it. We even had a, a court hearing to try and just let me be the first to buy it. And the judge was like, I wish it was different. Not the holy grail of Trans Ams, but pretty close. Michael Lightburn collects Trans Ams, and he knows Super Duties. The excitement brought all these people in, but they were also here to support Amanda. Currently on dialysis and the kidney transplant wait list. My name is Amanda Portillo. I don't know very much about Super Duty, except I do know that it's a rare find and it goes fast because we used to go fast in it. <laughs> well, my dad bought it before he was married to my mom. He bought it new. It was sitting in the showroom with the bright red bow on it and he went in and he bought it. Well, when, when he moved back from Silver City, he just parked the car in the garage and never took it out again, and that's how long it's been sitting. Both of these are vintage BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. Uh, also, you can tell this is original rim. If you look carefully, they're brushed. They, they look like it has little tiny little lines, but these are original. If, you, if this car was up north, it would definitely have about a quarter inch thick of undercoating. Look, there's no rust. Look, you can hear the metal, okay? If you look in here, there's no rust in here. Look at that. Wow. I was brought home from the hospital in the Trans Am. I've been riding in it my whole life. My dad and I, ever since I was a child, would start tinkering with it and take it out for drives. The only problem with El Paso, like all the weather stripping will dry out and crack. Um, we went to wash it one time. He got the engine wet, so we ended up having to call mom to come and rescue us because it wouldn't start anymore. That was just one of the best memories I ever had, trying to get the Trans Am to start up again. So, How old were you? I'd have to say about six. Never underestimate the heart of a six-year-old. Look at that. What'd you find? It's the original valve cover with the with the eight, with the Super Duty sticker. Look at, see, it says for uh, 45. So this is very very rare find, extremely rare. Everybody thinks it's because it's that car. It's, it it wouldn't really matter what it was. It's just because he loved it, so I loved it, and not to sound silly, but I like the speed of it too. Why do you figure the SD 455 is? faded on this side and not the other. And the driver, the sun was hitting the driver's side of the car. Oh, okay. Look at the tack, it goes up to 8,000 RPMs. And the speedometer goes up to 160. And that wheel's in excellent shape. Look at that center cap. It's not cracked, you know? Look at the brakes, look at the brake uh, and the, and the, and the oh. uh, see they're cherry. Notice that it's not torn. It may be dry rotted and cracked, but it is oh. not torn. This is, an, this is a capsule trapped in time, like inside a bubble. All four tires held air. You fight for the things that mean something to you. It was during mediation and they came back with, they would let me have the car and uh, my equal percentage of my dad's estate. So, uh, Amanda won out. She could take possession of her father's Trans Am, but she had no place to store the car. The car was not running. Multiple issues here. In fact, the odds looked so stacked against her. I guess that's why when I first arrived, I assumed she'd sold the car. Well, what happened? You, you sold it because you get, kind of get into a little of that. Uh... Immediately, I felt foot in mouth. It's uh, mine. I haven't sold it, and I'm not going to. The Trans Am? Oh, the red one? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. All right. I won't tell it because it's of sentimental value. So what are you going to do with it? I'd like to be able to just drive it between Silver City and Tyrone because I know that they enjoyed the hills, going fast on the hills between Silver and Tyrone. Oh. So okay. that's what is my goal to be able to take it down there and drive that.
we can only envision that drive from a map, but we want to be there when it happens. This is a way to get a little piece of him back. So it means more than anybody can possibly know. Now I get it. Amanda would get this car running, drive it in New Mexico. Okay, so time to roll the car out, put it on a trailer, and take it to Amanda. We're all meeting at Jacob's shop. Wide open with car people, car talk, and car sounds. We're, we're going to blow the dust off this old Trans Am. Amanda hadn't seen the Trans Am in years. Oh, and if you want to see more of this type of content, hit the like and subscribe button. For good luck, hit the super thanks button. I've been on dialysis for over seven years now. I was on primarily on peritoneal dialysis, but had to switch to hemodialysis. Now I go in center and do hemodialysis three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Right now I have been approved at Mayo Clinic Phoenix for a eligibility for a kidney transplant. I'm waiting on the best match possible for myself and all of my factors, my age, you know, my blood type, all of that good stuff. Uh, my mom is going to be my caregiver. She's going to have to stay there and she's going to have to cook because even in those six weeks, I can't cook because there's a high risk of I could burn myself and burn the kidney because it's not, it doesn't go where my other kidneys are. They don't take a kidney out. They just, you're now I'm going to have three, only one functional, but I'm still going to have three of them. So it's, it's quite a, it's quite a lot for her to have to, to take on. Hold on, hold on. Watch out, Jerry. I'll turn it. Okay, go ahead. Put it on there, Jerry. Because she's used to living by herself too. So it's, um, it's going to be a challenge for everybody, but I mean, She's more than willing and ready to help in any way she can. Uh, my best friend lives in Phoenix, so she's all like, we're going to be there. We'll take you home cooked food. Don't worry about it. I'll drive your mom around. So I'm not alone over there, but um, it's a strange city. I've only visited three times. So, yeah, and my mom only went once and she didn't drive, I drove. So it, it's just gonna be a big adjustment, but my mom is gonna be the one taking the majority of the care for me. I haven't seen it in so long and it's finally mine. You know, I've had to fight for this really hard and mm -hmm. I'm glad I got it. Yeah. <sighs> I, this, this is my dream car right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that was a good one. It looks like it hasn't been modified or anything. It's very original. Yes, no, he didn't do anything to it. Didn't do anything to it. So, I'm going to try and keep all of that what I can, but it, it does need a lot of TLC, and hopefully we can save as much as we can. So you're gonna try and get a plane flight. When you get a plane flight though, can your mom, I think you said there was some kind of a, a problem for you both to get out there in, in, in just a hour or two's notice to make it, right? How does that work? Well, she, uh, she is an overpacker, 
so she can't just like be ready to leave in 20 minutes like I can. I already have my bags packed. Um, I have the bag to just take with me on the plane and go like a little carry on. I already have that ready. Um, and she's not like that. She likes to make sure she has everything plus one. So instead of making it a stressful situation and not making it, I'm just going to try and get there on my own and she'll come once she's ready. And she has to pick up my dog and take care of her. Time is of the essence. and So as a car person, I got to thinking, well, what if they had a fast car? You know, something to get them the 430 miles from El Paso to Phoenix uh, to the Mayo Clinic in the allotted time. Fire engine red with a kidney-shaped grill. To me, it's just, it's priceless. The sentimental value is too great on it. And I want to make it shine for him and in his memory. So. Yeah. Very nice. So, Anthony. Is it a break, Chica? What did you learn today? Uh, you know what, honestly, I had never heard of these uh, SD Trans Amps. Have you learned something today? Very much. I learned that. <laughs> these cars are hard to find, and when you find one, it's like, um, it's part of history. That's what we love. It's factory bent, and it's, it's cut. it'll cut you if you run your fingers too hard. You see that? Just nonchalant, just kind of run your fingers in here. Tolo <laughs> Eddie. Yeah? Eddie, have you met Jerry? <laughs> Michael likes to say Eddie's tow truck is a low rider. It's my brother George. How you doing? Hey George. Everything working on classic cars. Building them, he's the best mechanic out there. Every motion picture movie I've ever done, he's, oh, no. he's built all the cars for the motion pictures mechanic. Yeah, for the film that, industry. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's working on Tony's Trans Am, but he hasn't finished it yet. <laughs> Which one is that? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The black one. Oh. Yeah, look at How's it feel to be around all these car people, huh? Oh my gosh, when I heard that engine. Whew. All right, sir. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Pleasure. The whole shop is bad. It's beautiful, yeah. Did you see that 66 Fairlane GT convertible we got back there in the corner? No. It's a, it's a 394, it's a 394 really? speed S boat car. Yeah. Go look at that. That right there, okay. Behind this car is my 67 400 four speed Firebird that's been sitting since 19. 91, mm -hmm. and I'm starting to work on this one. I have three Tucson Usans mm -hmm. at the shop, but she's 1991. Yeah. And uh, I have another car here. This car's pretty rare. This is a 1966 S-Code big block 390 four-speed convertible GT Fairlane. It came with a 390 uh, engine with a top loader four-speed nine-inch four Detroit Lacquer Posi track rear end, and it's a convertible four-speed car. It rained, but... Uh, Sorry? Black car, huh? No, it's a green, dark green. Oh. But uh, there it is. Numbers matching car. Numbers matching motor. It's a 390. Pretty rare car. Look at the rims, the original rims. Very mm. similar to the Mustang GT wheel, because that's it's the same wheel. You tearing it up, Eddie? No, uh, it doesn't have a key, so we're trying to put it in neutral. Oh, where did you find that? You found one. Man, really? I'm like, yes, I was going to no be key. <laughs> The Trans Am crew, Super Duty. Connected to the car for the catch of the day. 